I've been getting a lot of requests lately for more slow cooker recipes, so today I am delivering. I'm going to show you a beautiful dinner, so simple to prepare, only about five minutes of prep work, and it is absolutely sensational. Let's try my winner winner slow cooked chicken dinner on the One Pot Chef. First things first, we're going to make our seasoned marinade mix. Into a small jug, I have got a quarter of a cup of olive oil. This is just normal everyday olive oil, nothing expensive or fancy. And to that, we're going to add in a third of a cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice. That's real lemon juice out of lemons, not out of a bottle. And to that, I'm going to add in a teaspoon of oregano or oregano, depending on where you come from in the world. I'm just using dry today, but you can use fresh if you wish. A teaspoon of onion powder. This is just dried ground up onions. Two cloves of crushed garlic, about two teaspoons worth. A teaspoon of salt. And a little freshly cracked black pepper. And you just need to give that a quick stir together and that is ready to use. So we're ready to start filling the slow cooker. Into the slow cooker in the middle I've got about one kilo or about two pounds of chicken breasts, boneless, skinless, and any excess fat trimmed off. To that, I'm gonna add in some potatoes. These are just some little red potatoes. They've just been quartered up. There's about 600 grams there or about a pound. And I'm also adding in a small amount of carrots. These are just little Dutch carrots or baby carrots. I've just trimmed and peeled the baby carrots, so all that's left to do is pour the marinade mixture over everything. Starting with the chicken, and then over the potatoes, and the carrots. Just make sure it's all over everything there. Beautiful. All that's left to do now is to put the lid on and switch this baby on. If you're using the high setting, it'll be four hours. If you're putting it on the low setting, it'll be eight hours. Make sure you don't take the lid off while it's cooking because we want as much of that steam in there as possible to make sure those vegetables and the chicken are cooked properly. Time's up, I've taken the lid off and switched off the pot and what amazing smell. You can really smell the herbs and the garlic in there. It's absolutely gorgeous. The vegetables are beautifully cooked. The chicken is tender and moist and juicy. We are ready to serve straight out of the pot. I've got a bit of the chicken, a potato and a carrot there so I can try them right away. Now, the chicken is beautiful and moist there. It's almost like poached chicken. I cannot wait to try this. Mm. Oh, that is stunning. <laughs> mm. Potato time. Mm. Soft and full of flavour. You really taste the garlic. Yum. <laughs> And of course, one of the baby carrots. Mmm. Oh, that, that's gorgeous. Mmm. <laughs> Slightly crisp, lovely sweetness, and it's really absorbed all those beautiful flavors. Absolutely stunning. A perfect dinner, so simple to prepare, and really so very little effort involved in this. Anyone can do this. Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check me out on social media or on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links in the video description underneath this video on YouTube. And of course, my website, onepotchefshow.com. And until next time, see you later. This recipe is infinitely variable. You can change the herbs and spices into it and make it whatever flavor you like. Change up the veggies. You don't have to use potatoes and carrots. You can easily use pretty much any vegetable. You could use green beans. You could use broccoli. You could use cauliflower. You can do a combination of different vegetables, whatever you like, whatever your favourites are, just chuck them in and trust me, you will love them.